Welcome to Brief Crypto. We review the talk and action around crypto and sum it up. Today is Wednesday, April 13th. Today's video is for entertainment only. Looking at the markets on CryptoBubbles.com. Looking at the daily. Nice green day for the cryptocurrency market. We have Compound up 15.2. Bitcoin Cash up 12.4. Link up 10.6. Thorchain up 10.8. Apecoin up 13.4. Glimmer up 8.2. Some of the tokens that are down. Waves is down 2%, Safe's down 1.1, GMT, Steppen. Steppen is down 2.2. So looking good, looking over the week, a red week at the moment. So the weekly we're red, for the day we're green, and looking at our tokens that are on our shopping list, Almost all green. Our weave's the only one down, 0.9%. We have Cardano up 2, Ethereum up 2.7, Avalanche up 4.1, Curve up 2.8, Bitcoin up 2.5, Super Farm up 2.2, Immutable X up 0.9, XRP up 1.1, Solana up 0.9, The Sandbox up 3.1, Terra Luna up 3.6, Decentraland Mana up 2.5, and Trader Joe up 4.5. We also added to our list um, today, ApeCoin, and ApeCoin was up 13.4 for the day. Continuing to look at the Bitcoin having trends, still looking very much, we're right in line with the two fractals, Bitcoin having uh, one fractal and Bitcoin having two fractal. So this is the fractal from peak to peak, so peak to peak. And peak to peak, uh, this is the purple one, and this is the yellow one. Uh, have that opposite. This is the purple one, and this is the yellow one. So peak to peak fractals right here are right in line. You can see right now we're right in this red candle for the month, down 9.64% for the month for Bitcoin, and right um, in line with the fractal. If we continue to follow this fractal, we'll have a short downtrend, seven to eight months, and then a long uptrend, 35 to 37 months. In news related to Bitcoin, on U.Today, the Bitcoin price could increase 10 times in two years from now, according to a recent tweet posted by prominent trader Peter Brandt. Alternatively, the world's largest cryptocurrency may continue its streak of sideways trading for a prolonged period of time, the chartist says. Right now on the Bitcoin bull run index, the CBBI, we're currently at 35. We did get as low as 34 recently, but we're still hovering right around this 34, 35, and we're waiting for it to go below 30 before we start purchasing according to our RSI relative strength index model. Ethereum. Still following the fractal, we're right here now. And just under the 200-day simple moving average, you can see that um, last time we came off a peak, we were just under the, at the same period of time, we were under the 200-day simple moving average, and that is where we are uh, presently. So you can see we're in a green candle at the moment, up 2.86%. Ethereum's at 3100 and fifteen dollars so the relative strength did come pretty close to our buy point 38 got down as low as 42.9 but uh, we're still waiting for the cbbi to go below 30 and currently it's 35 in news on cryptopotato.com akala the ethereum compatible d5 protocol has announced teaming up with anchor to boost the decentralized stablecoin space of terra and Polkadot Ecosystems. Akala won the first Polkadot Parachain auction. Terra Luna is in a green daily candle. It's currently at $87.70. We're waiting until the CBBI goes below 30. It did dip below the 40 mark, which is where we'd be buying Terra Luna. We adjusted that slightly today. We, we definitely want to pick up more Terra Luna in this cycle. It's one of the tokens that we're fairly light on and want to have a bigger part of our portfolio. So we did move 
the RSI up a bit on our model. Not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Sandbox, we're waiting until the CBBI goes below 30. It as well dipped below our RSI buy target of 38. Um, it's currently in a green candle. It's at $2.87, up 3.16% in this daily candle. Ape, we added ApeCoin to our shopping list today and put a 45 RSI for it. We don't have a lot of historical data for ApeCoin, and we do want to pick up some, so we move that uh, RSI up to 45. We may even move it up to 50. We'll kind of have to see how this plays out. And we're not waiting until the CBBI gets below 30 on ApeCoin. We'll buy once the RSI comes below 45 on Ape. In news related to ApeCoin, Ape Coin eyes 250% rally amid bull pennant breakout and Robinhood ape listing rumors on Cointelegraph.com. Here's the bull pennant. And typically what you have in a bull pennant is you have the pennant, you have this flagpole, and you just move the flagpole over, and that's where you'd expect that's your target price for this pattern. Looking at our shopping list, and now it's actually a buying plan, so we won't be selling anything until the CBBI goes above 75. That'll be quite some time from, from now, more than likely. And so we have the buying plan for the shopping list. Um, these are the tokens that are on our list. We added Super Farm. We made a few adjustments to the buying RSI level, like we talked about. Terra Luna made a couple of other ones as well. And this is where we're going to be buying. Uh, we already own uh, these tokens, um, every one, but I think Arweave at this point now. We own Super Farm and ApeCoin. So, so pretty much I think uh, Arweave is the only one that we currently don't own, but we'll be buying them on these platforms. Again, not, not uh, being paid by any of these platforms, not trying to pump any of these platforms. Jeez, these are just the platforms in which we're going to purchase these tokens currently. That could change. And this is not financial advice. This data contain errors, and you should do your own research. I am not a financial advisor, but this is our buying plan using the relative strength index and the CBBI. For most of these coins, we won't buy until the CBBI drops below 38 coins, the exception to that. Total cryptocurrency market cap went up 2.3% to 1.96 trillion. 24 hour volume, pretty big drop, but still reasonable volume at 91 billion. Bitcoin dominance and ETH dominance are both flat. Bitcoin dominance 40.5% and ETH dominance 19.1. Thank you for joining today's Brief Crypto. If you like today's video, please follow us. Today's video is for entertainment only. We are not financial advisors. You should always do your own investment research.